All of the functions you've seen so far have performed a simple task, like printing a welcome screen. Functions can also return a value. The caller of the function can assign the return value to a variable or constant, or use it directly in an expression. We have seen this concept in expressions, and we have used it in the if expressions and in the when expressions. This means you can use a function to manipulate data. You simply take in data through parameters, manipulate it, and then return it. Here's how we are going to demonstrate how to return a value from a function, okay? We are, I'm going to remove this function. This is for printing a welcome screen, but I'm making a complex function that will make a multiplication. So multiply numbers and this uh, function will take a number one or X, it is equal to X and of type integer. And the second perimeter would be Y of type integer. Okay. And we start by return. We have a return function. We and the return keyword. So when you need a function to return a value, even a string, number, uh, boolean, or whatever you want, you need to use the return keyword. So I need to return x times y. I need to perform this action, okay? But there is a type mismatch, required unit found in, okay? There is a unit and we have seen that unit is not, it is like void in Java. For that, to prevent this, I need to tell the compiler that, hey, I need to return an integer from this function. You see, guys, that this the error has been removed. I'm returning a result of five example, five times five, which is 25. And it is of type integer. Okay. So I need to tell the compiler that this function called multiply number, it will it, having this parameter, it will return integer. Okay. So this is how we uh, tell the function to return an int or a, a returning value. I need to also to uh, make a return keyword and put here what we are going to uh, return. The value of the returning thing would be and must be exactly matches that same type that you have declared. So I am telling here a function multiply numbers having these parameters will return a type integer. I can't return like a string hello, like. So this hello, it is a string type mismatch required int because I tell the compiler to allow it to make it as an int. I need the, from this function to return for me as an int. And it is founding a string, returning type a string. So this is at the compiling time, at the uh, compiling time will make an error telling us that there is a mismatch in type. So the solution is to make and pass the correct data type that matches with the returning type we have declared for the function. Okay. Now. I need to call the method here. As I told you, to call the method, I need to put, to call it directly. And I need to pass, you see guys, x, int, and y here. I need to pass five 
as x and y as 5. Okay? Now, let's run and see. Nothing will happen because nothing will be printed on the screen. 5 is passed and 5 wipe is passed and the uh, calculation is performed but nothing will be displayed because we didn't make any print on the screen. So for that, I will store this inside if val equal to result. And this result is calling the function multiply numbers. Now inside the main print ln the result. Okay, let's run and see. And you see guys, it is printing our multiplication of x and y 5 times 5 25 it stored it inside a result now val result is equal in storing a, a result of this multiplication uh, uh, operation and it's printing it again on the screen so this is what we have talked about the expression storing the result of this function it is returning an int so it is a returning int it's returning int i have stored it in a val called result and this result is of type int then i have printed it here okay so it's very important to uh to think and under understand how functions work and how they compile and how they work with your codes.